Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, I'm Kent? I'm excited to begin a two-month journey yeah. for, for half of New York City. But I'm excited that we have arrived to playoff Eve. Not only have we arrived, the Garden Popcorn has arrived as well, my friend. Look at that. I am eating right look now. Look at that. You look so happy. The world famous Madison Square Garden Popcorn. Look at you. And I got plenty to last me. The entire show. Great. I went to the garden today. Great. Got the popcorn and a few other things. Good. Good for you. I'm glad you're happy. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you can eat garden popcorn. Oh, Think about yeah. Sunday evening. I'm happy for you. I really am. How does it taste? Does it taste as good as you remember it tasting from opening night? I haven't been in the garden in three years because mm -hmm. of my own personal crap. Uh, and then COVID, I wouldn't be able to go anyway, obviously, like everybody else. But, uh, yeah, it brings back great memories. Just as good. Like, it hasn't even lost uh, a half a step. Evan, it's like a childhood It's like childhood Kool-Aid mm. is what it is. I was a big Kool-Aid kid growing up. Sure. And this is like childhood Kool-Aid, man. It never changes. It doesn't need to change. And it's fan-effing phenomenal. I'm just curious. I'm not even asking. Just yeah. curious. Do you plan on sharing some of it with me? No. 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 Okay. You know the rules. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to the Garden Sunday. I'll buy my own. Those yeah, are the rules. Feel free. You know the rules. The Dump rules it. are I don't share garden stuff with you. That's you know fine. That. That, I was just asking. All right, listen. It's a great weekend. Uh, it's going to be beautiful weather. Maybe a couple of rain through, uh, here and there spots. No soon. rain. It's going to be beautiful. But it's going to be beautiful. And here's the dealio. You have, I, you know, I, the thing I took out of yesterday's show, it stayed with me today, and I'm so excited about it, mm -hmm. is that Sunday is really going to be a potentially special day for a lot of New York fans. I, I'm not picking on the Nets, but as you know, the majority of New Yorkers are Knicks fans. Or the Islanders who play at 3 yeah. o'clock tomorrow as well. Yeah, the majority of New Yorkers are also Yankee fans. So you have a very special first time in forever doubleheader opportunity on Sunday. Yankee baseball afternoon, Nick basketball at night. And I know there's at least a couple people that are going to be going to both games, Jose, right? Jose, who called us yesterday, was the originator of this brilliant plan. So I want to hear from you a lot today. If you're going to any of these sporting events over the next 48 oh, hours. Oh, dear, dear, Craig, do, yeah. do the Islanders count? What happened? Do the New York Islanders count? Yeah, but they lost last night. Yeah, they play a three. Yeah. And by the way, yeah, how many lost. times they've lost this season when they score four goals in a game? None. Just guess. None. None. 16 and 0. Yeah, well, Not last making night, that up. They lost last night. Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm aware of that. And yeah. Varley, by the way, was mediocre as hell. But the Islanders play Saturday at 3 o'clock in a game they have to win. All right. The Nets play 8 o'clock on Saturday night. Eventually, they'll sell that so game So you're out. saying we have ourselves two double dippers. Yes. An Islander net yes. double dipper on Saturday. That's right. That no one cares about. <laughs> and, a and a Yankee Nick double dipper on Sunday that everybody cares about. Listen. Where do the Mets come in, there, in the mix? Uh, unfortunately, the Mets are stuck in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> playing in a, a dome down in Florida, but it is amazing. I, I don't know how many times in the annals of New York sports history you could potentially see the New York Islanders, the Brooklyn Nets, the New York Yankees, the New York Knicks all playing games. And the funniest all thing about it, other than the Yankees, playoff games. Playoff games. Right. The funniest thing about it for a guy like Jose who called us yesterday, for anyone else who's pulling off the Yankee Nick doubleheader, and I find this hilarious is there will be more people in Madison Square Garden than Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah, it's a funny on thing, you're right. Based on restrictions and rules that are in place right That's now. That's so true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have 15,000 large at the Garden, 90% or so, give or take, all vaccinated. Right. The Yankees have the right to do 30%, so it's about 15 grand, but they haven't yet set up the way... I, I want to say, I watched some of the Islander game last night, not all of it. I watched a lot of the third period because it was really exciting. It was a hell of a game. It was a great game. game to watch. Horrible, but amazing. Yeah. So All at the same time. the way they did it yesterday mm -hmm. seems to me now, and I'll be very honest about it, I didn't think of this in advance, but having seen it now, what they did in Nassau yesterday was they basically cut the Coliseum in half. Mm -hmm. So one half, which gives you about, let's just call it 6,500, 7,000 seats, right? Vaccinated. The other half would be non-vaccinated. Socially distanced. And you yeah. could tell. Yeah. You could tell the difference. But you know what the Knicks and Nets are doing? They're basically <sighs> saying you better be vaccinated to go to the game. Because 90% yes. of Madison Square Garden, and I don't have the exact number with Barclays Center, but it's overwhelmingly high, is going to be fully vaccinated fans. So I don't know 
if the New York Yankees or the New York Mets are ready to take that leap, they certainly have more time than the Knicks and Nets. And I don't mean this to be a jerk, but you don't know how many home playoff games you're getting at Madison Square Garden. I'm getting two, I know that. You're definitely getting two. You'll probably get a third, maybe a fourth, maybe more. We don't know. I think the Yankees and the Mets are taking their time, but for the Nets and Knicks, it was, we got to get as many yeah, people you know, in here as so possible. Yeah, but you know about it? Like, from a business standpoint... You know, it makes no sense. Like, if I'm the Yankees, mm -hmm. if you could theoretically cut a line right down the middle through home plate mm -hmm. and say, okay, everyone on the first base side, which is, again, ballpark, 22,000 seats, right? Mm -hmm. 22,000, you got to be vaccinated to sit there, and there's no distancing rules at all, no masks necessary, right. bang. Right, right. And on the other side, yeah. we do the non-vaccinated distancing, right. which will give us a chance on making this up to put 4,000 people over there. In other words, if you could put almost 25 or so thousand people, and I say this for the Mets also, into your stadiums, why aren't you? I think they're afraid of alienating season ticket holders who may not have been vaccinated. I don't know. No, I think that's the answer. But aren't because those essentially the same group of people that, in theory, would be a Nick season ticket holder, a Nets season ticket well, holder, I think, Rangers, et cetera, et cetera? Well, I think the Knicks and Nets are trailblazers here, honestly. I think that the New York Knicks, and you want to give James Dolan credit for it, we can, said, look, we are going to make this basically a vaccinated building. Okay. That's essentially what he announced. Yeah. We didn't know what the results were going to be. Now, maybe it's the out-and-out -out amazing enthusiasm for the Knicks, or maybe it's that so many New Yorkers are fully vaccinated, but his kind of gamble that he took worked out because they sold out. And yeah. there are enough people in this city and in this state and in this area that are saying, I want to go to the game. I'm fully vaccinated. Let's go. So what I believe is going to happen is the New York Yankees and the New York Mets are going to see what happened at the Garden and a little bit of Brooklyn, and they will add vaccinated sections. And I also want to acknowledge, you're not talking about a January basketball game. You are talking about a right. playoff game. That's why we which don't is know. Special. We don't know how that translates at Yankee Stadium. Like, if the New York Yankees announced today, all right, full vaccination for 90% of the ballpark, I don't know what the crowd is this week. Well, I think we do know during the week they're not going to fill it. Okay. You know, they'll get, they'll get 30,000. Will they? But they're not getting 44. If they were going to get 30,000 people, I think there would be more confidence in the Yankees and Mets just doing that. But I think what happened this weekend with the Knicks and to a lesser degree the Nets I think is the roadmap to maybe the future of going to sporting venues here in the next few months, which is make the majority of the ballpark fully vaccinated sections. Well, if you're going to any of these games this weekend, bring it, because this, uh, this weekend's about the fan, I think, 100%. Now, something else happened yesterday, or actually late last night, early today, that did catch my eye. And I want to acknowledge, because as it's reported, it was reported as a rumor, too. So the, the, the people that put this out are not saying that they've got anyone essentially like on the record willing to verify that what I'm about to tell you is 100% unequivocally factual. But I still like the story anyway. <laughs> okay. Because the story pisses me off. And you like right? being pissed off? Is that something? For some reason, yeah. this story pisses me off, okay. but I like it. All right. So the rumor is that... Before LeBron James announced he was going oh, to Miami, don't do this I got to do it. Yourself. I got to do it. I got to do it. All right, go ahead. Because it's now got legitimate legs. Go ahead. Go it's ahead. not just us as Knicks fans no, saying. I get you. I get it's you. got independent, objective legs. Go ahead. Tell the story to the people. There are two stories here. <laughs> story one is that before LeBron James announced that he was going to take his talents to Miami, okay. all right, he wanted to come to New York. Mm -hmm. The New York Knicks. And New York City, Madison Square Garden, was his preference choice, okay? And the only reason he didn't pick the Knicks is that when the Knick contingent went to meet him and his guys... In Akron, yeah. They foobarred the meeting. Right. We have all heard that. Yes. Yes. And I, I remember being on the air during it saying, why would you send a guy in a wheelchair right. to meet LeBron and his uh, guys, his team... And think that a guy in a wheelchair, which Donnie Walsh was in at the time, is going to convince him New York's the place to be, right? Right. So the first story that came out, the rumor, is that the Knicks lost LeBron mm -hmm. as opposed to LeBron never wanted to play and, and here. And just for the record, did okay. you believe that story? 
I do not believe that. Okay. No, I'm just curious. Okay. I did at the time think it was a bad idea to send Donnie Walsh. Right, right, right. So I want to be consistent about okay. that. Okay. And I also thought it was a bad idea to do that stupid video they did. Very stupid. Where old, you know, famous New Yorkers say, come on, LeBron. Yeah, that was right. not good. In I keep thinking event. of Mayor Bloomberg. Come on, LeBron. Do yeah. I think we foobarred the meeting? I guess that's possible. I don't know what he wanted to hear that we didn't say. He was going to Miami the okay. whole time. Come okay. On. Now. The second part of the rumor mm -hmm. is that when he went to L.A., right. he again wanted to come to New York, but his wife decided that she'd rather raise the kids for schooling mm -hmm. and you know, academics in California as opposed to New York City, and she came up with that because of Lala Anthony because Lala and Carmelo's son, who was young at the time, elementary school, was going to school in the city, and they didn't like it. Okay. Now, that one's got more legs to me than the so first one. So you believe that story? Don't, don't give me that. Well, don't say I'm that. Asking. I'm asking if you, because I saw the story this yes. morning. I have opinions on it. I I'm just curious if you believe I it. I buy the Mrs. Le James saying... We now have multiple kids who are school-aged. Mm -hmm. I would rather raise our children in L.A. than New York City. I could buy that. Okay. Sure. Okay. I believe you're all being used. We're I really being do. used? Yeah, I believe you're being Nobody used. Nobody uses us Nick fans, Evan. The New York Knicks are an incredibly popular franchise. They have a fan base that is maybe the most passionate in the NBA. I, I really mean that. Yeah. No sarcasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe that there are national media outlets that use you. They realize that by putting a story out there, they're going to get a lot of clicks. They're going to get a lot of attention. And quite frankly, most of the time I laugh about it, mm -hmm. but this time I find it disrespectful. Your basketball team is going to the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Right. With all due respect to LeBron James and anyone reporting this, F off. It's irrelevant. It means nothing. This is the most exciting time to be a Knicks fan in That's eight years. That's right. And I find a story like this to be disgusting. All they're trying to do is take advantage of the excitement that Knicks fans have. So you if think I were you, Craig, do, is doing that? Okay. I, I think 100%, if you're a Knicks fan, you should be pissed at this story. You should find it disrespectful. And you should say, quite frankly, as great as LeBron is, and he's an all-time great, you know what? I don't want to hear it anymore. He didn't come here. He hasn't come here. I've got Julius Randle. I've got R.J. Barrett, and I'm not suggesting they're going to win an NBA title. I would never tell you that. But enough of this garbage. Enough of the clicks that they want Nick fans to put on stupid articles. So you're articles. saying I'm a sucker. I bought into the clickbait. I think you That's are a you're complete, saying. utter sucker. So in other words, you're yes. saying that what they just did to me was they put a hot girl in a bikini and told me to buy solar panels. Yes. And I clicked on the button yes! hoping to see hot girls with solar panels. Yes. That's what you're telling me. That's right. Damn it, I got to stop clicking. <laughs> I keep clicking because she's so hot. Dude, the LeBron cleavage you know, you know, is very appealing. solar panels I have in my garage right now? <laughs> I'm sure a lot. I got enough solar panels to power the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know how to install them. You got seduced. I got seduced by bikinis and solar panels. Yes. And the notion that somehow... LeBron James's wife is the devil. Yes. Hmm. Well, but, but gives Craig, me another reason to dislike him, so Craig, I'll take it. But Craig, and to all the Knicks fans that I'm standing up for, this story will have a happy ending. Yeah, that's right. Because come July, New York will take care no. of LeBron no. James. No. Thank you. That's not that Good doesn't day, sir. that doesn't take care of anything in my world whatsoever. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got lots to do. 877-337-6666. We got A-Rod coming up. We got Gretzky, of course, as always. We got the Yankees back in town. Aaron Boone joins us at 5 o'clock. We got the Knicks playoff basketball for the first time in damn near a decade. The Garden Popcorn has been made, for me at least, and it'll be ready for you on Sunday as well. So join us. Let's have some fun on a gorgeous Friday afternoon in New York City. And listen up. Security Dodge is your Ram Trucks headquarters. Right now, they got the largest selection of new Rams, SRT, Jeep Grand Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Wranglers, Gladiators. Come get some. Shop 24-7 at securitydodge.com during the Rams Spotlight Sales event. I also have a surprise for Evan today. Oh. Well, when I went to the garden with Tommy earlier today to get the popcorn, Madison Square Garden gave me two little uh, bags. Two little bags, Evan. Popcorn and two little bags. And who are the bags for? 
You might ask me what's inside those bags. Well, no, no, I'm curious. Who was it the bag addressed to? Because one thing I've learned about you yeah. is even when things are addressed to me, you only see the part that says your name. What's that one say? One of the bags says, and I quote, Carton, go Knicks, we here. Carton, go Knicks, we here. Makes complete sense. And inside that bag, it I'm is, very uh, proud to say. It's a jersey. It's a, a Julius Randle jersey, baby. Very nice. Yeah, buddy. So what's in bag number two? Well, we'll find out later today. Hmm. But there is a second bag, and I will tell you what the bag says. The bag says Roberts <laughs> to the next generation. We here. Oh, that is disrespectful. We that here. is, you know something, Madison <laughs> Square Garden? Yeah. While I appreciate you sending me something, <laughs> how dare you infringe on the next generation? Ooh. Because the next generation of Roberts, and yeah. they're here, by the way. We here. Spence and Jet, we here. Yeah. You know where that generation's going to be? Madison Square Garden? Well, you don't know. That generation is going to be unequivocally you don't know that. in Brooklyn. You don't know that. With that said, thank you for your consideration. Good day, sir. You don't know that. I don't know what. Tell kids be independent. Let them make their own decisions. I'm pretty confident where their decisions will lie. I haven't even met them yet. I got a lot of power. Wow. You know, I'm very honored by the garden, but also a little bothered. Carton Next Roberts. Next generation? That's right. Carton Next and Roberts. Next generation? Don't worry. Carton and Roberts on the fan. This popcorn is delicious. What's in the bag, though? Your call's coming up. Plus, huh. LeBron James was almost a Nick twice. No, he wasn't. Plus, the Yankees are back in town. Come get some. <laughs>